Hi, my name is Clemens Vasters. I'm an architect on the Azure team, and I'm here to briefly introduce uh, Event Hubs, a brand new capability that we have in Azure. Um, Event Hubs are, uh, have been built to allow you to send a lot of data very fast into Azure from the outside using the HTTP or the MQP protocol. Or if you need to send data from very, very many hundreds of thousands of different sources into the system, um, also in bursts, then you can also do this or a combination of both. Let's say you have vehicles that you have on the streets uh, during rush hour in Europe, if you're a car manufacturer, and uh, those need to be sending a lot of data within a very short time window, then Event Hubs um, is a great thing for you. Or if you are um, a TV show producer, um, and uh, you're putting up uh, live votes if you are a um, game studio and you're building multi, uh, massively multiplayer games which uh, need to go and process lots of events. Um, or if you are in uh, municipal utilities, if you are in energy management, there's a lot of scenarios where you can go and use that, capa that capability. In the ingest, we can process uh, well over one gigabytes per second in throughput. We can take data from over hundreds of thousands of sources onto a single event hub. Um, the things you can go and configure yourself on the portal are, are a little bit more limited. You can go and make up to 32 partitions and you can go and make up to 20 throughput units, one megabytes per second each per throughput unit on ingest, two megabytes per second on read, and um, also with that comes 84 gigabytes per day in storage. And if you need extra storage, we're gonna build you that storage. Um, with normal storage charges, you can retain the data by default for up to 24 hours, but you can also make it seven days um, of data retention. And if you call Azure support, then we, kinda, we can go and make you many more partitions, uh, more than a thousand partitions, and we can also give you more than a thousand throughput units, realizing one over one gigabytes per second in throughput. And uh, we can also give you storage of up to 30 days worth of storage of events. So you can go and process the events, but also reprocess the events, and you can go also go into the event stream and uh, correlate, for instance, history based on um, times also across um, multiple different distinct event streams in even multiple distinct event hubs if you have those. So that much as, as a um, very brief introduction on event hubs, it's a very interesting capability and you're invited to go and take a look at the site, take a look at the documentation and take a look at the programming guide, conceptual documentation and all the other stuff, samples and uh, obviously the code that we have here for you. Thank you.